Hello, now we will discuss regarding the force analysis for the trapezoidal or ACME thread. Now in previous lecture we have discussed regarding the force analysis for the square thread where we got the torque required to lift the load and torque required to lower the load. Torque required to lift the load is evaluated as P into W W into dm divided by 2 into tan of 5 plus alpha and torque required to lower the load that is W into dm divided by 2 into tan of 5 minus alpha. Now this formulation uh, how we can use for the trapezoidal or acme thread. Now we have seen that is the difference between square trapezoidal and acme thread. Now trapezoidal thread will and acme thread uh, will have the included angle of 29 degree and 30 degree respectively right, compared to the uh, square thread. Now let us see the force analysis. The methodology of the force analysis is almost same. You can use the we can use the formulation of trapezoidal and acme thread as it is okay just by replacing w by uh, mu by mu sec theta. Now let us see. 2 theta is the generally it is being taken as an included angle. The force acting on this thread surface is inclined at an angle of theta. Therefore, the normal load acting on this surface is taken as a W sec theta. Therefore, instead of W, the friction force uh, depends on the angle of theta that is semi-included angle. Hence, the modified value of coefficient of friction is being taken as a mu sec theta. Remaining formulation for both the cases will remain as it is. For example, first case is for the lifting of the load that is movement of the screw against the direction of load. We are going to use the equation that is a P is equal to W into mu plus tan alpha divided by 1 minus mu tan alpha. Now instead of mu, use the mu sec theta. Therefore, we will use this mu sec theta. Therefore, the P is equal to W into mu sec theta plus tan alpha divided by 1 minus mu sec theta into tan alpha where theta is a semi included angle therefore torque required to lift the load is equal to w into dm divided by 2 into mu sec theta plus tan alpha divided by 1 minus mu sec theta into tan alpha compared to the square thread this is w into dm by 2 into tan of 5 plus alpha now the efficiency will be calculated by the w by p into tan of alpha Okay, now this is the entirely equation for the lifting of the load. Similarly, for the lowering of the load, that is the movement of the thread uh, in the direction of load. That is, the, we are having an equation that is the P into W into mu minus tan alpha divided by 1 plus mu tan alpha. Therefore, replace mu by mu sec theta. Therefore, you will get the equation torque required to lower the load. Okay, and this is the entire required torque required in rather compared to the square thread. It is the W into dm by 2 into tan of phi minus alpha. Okay, now this is the clear regarding the only replace mu by mu sec theta and use the formulation of the square thread as it is. Then the next one that is the color friction torque. Now you cannot use the power screw as it is. The power screw has to be supported by using a collar or the nut arrangement. Okay. Now, as there is a threads are available, this collar or nut will also have an internal thread. Now, suppose DI is a capital DI is the inner diameter or minor diameter of an internal thread. D naught is the outer diameter or major diameter. D is the nominal diameter and TC is nothing but a collar friction torque. Then and W is the load which is being applied on the collar. Therefore, the torque required to overcome the collar friction is calculated in the two different ways. First way that is by using a uniform friction theory. Collar friction will be calculated as the mu c w divided by 3 into d naught cube minus di cube divided by d naught square minus di square and uniform wear theory that is tc is equal to mu c w by 4 into d naught plus di. Whatever the theory is being uh, mentioned in the numerical accordingly we have to find out the total torque that is the torque required to raise the load will be equal to the thread friction torque plus collar friction 
this is entirely regarding the t total then efficiency will be calculated as output divided by input and finally you will get the wl divided by 2 pi t total this is entirely regarding the um, square trapezoidal and thread and the evaluation of the color friction torques thank you